Hello everyone, welcome to Bowser Training Lead Code Solution. If you want the best mock interview, mock interview experience in North America, feel free to check us out at bowsertraining.org. And also, if you haven't noticed, we actually have a uh, tech blog right here on our website. So where we are uh, constantly posting like lead code solutions, as you can see in this tag, and some other things either in uh, system design or other topics. Feel free to check those out. Okay, so today we're going to talk about this problem, uh, basic calculator. So what, the, what does a basic calculator mean? So essentially it will only have signs, plus, positive, and uh, minus, negative, and the non-negative integers and uh, parentheses. And all the, all the valuation, all the expression is valid. So, and then basically giving this string expression and the calculator the numbers. Of course, you cannot use the eval building function. And uh, by looking at this, I think uh, intuitively you should already, because there's uh, some other uh, similar problems like this, um, and uh, intuitively you should already sense it. Okay, for solving those kind of problems, you need to uh, use a stack. More specifically, you probably need to use uh, two stack. One stack is for the operator, the other stack is for the operands. A few caveats to this problem. First of all, um, paying attention, whenever you use st stack for operators and operands, just always pay attention to order when you pop up two things. So essentially, if you push A and B out, like let's say if it's A minus B, first you pop up B and then you pop up A. So it will be A minus B in this case. So pay attention to the order. And the second thing is in this case, uh, in this problem, does the, does the parentheses actually matter? Yes, it matters. So this will be one example. So two minus one plus two should equal to three. And if you have a parentheses like this, so I mean, it's gonna be minus one, right? So just remember like elementary school math, if you want to remove the parentheses, if, if it's minus, then you have to change the sign. Like if it's a plus, then you have to change to minus. So in this case, this is also minus one. So. Uh, in short, means the printed matters. Another caveat is, uh, you know, it's all, always a good question to ask in your interviews is, uh, uh, it's not just about a single digit number, right? So that could be multiple digit number, like for example, 1000. And also 1000 is a valid expression. Like if you, you can only add one brackets, 1000, or it's like uh, two brackets with two left brackets and then two right brackets is also valid. Cool. Uh, so yeah, I think a generic way, so I will, I will talk about two solutions, but the one generic way I personally prefer is using two stacks. So mm, the, the way it runs is as long as we see a left bracket, we just keep pushing the stack. We, we just keep ca uh, calculating the values as normal within the innermost bracket, which means as long as there is a um, left bracket, you will just keep uh, as long as there's values in the left bracket, you just keep calculating the values unless it's the first one. For example, um, let me see. Unless it's something like this. So if you have a one plus two plus three. So as long as you see a left bracket, you push it in and you have this two and then you just keep going, you see a, you see a sign, but you won't calculate it at this time because you don't know what to calculate it yet. Let's say here is like plus four. So now once you finish adding this number and then you see another operate, operator, then you start calculating. In, in that case, you basically calculating this five and then you push it to the stack. It looks like this. And then you see the four and then you see a right big bracket. As long as you see the right bracket, you just basically keep calculating until you see a left bracket, which in this method, everything will be just one step. So this will be basically nine and you remove the bracket It's like this and then you just keep continue, continue your stack calculation like this. All right. Um, yeah, so essentially if we look through the code, it looks like this. So first we do some sanity check. We always have two, uh, two stacks. One is operand, oper the other is operator. And then we just keep, keep uh, iterating through the array. So just remember if it is, uh, you know, character by character. So if it is empty, we always skip. 
So if it is a digit, so here what I did is I use a string builder. I mean, there's multiple ways to, to do this. For me, it's, it's just uh, it's easier just to use a string builder to keep appending the number. So what it means is as long as you see a thing that is not a number, that is uh, uh, basically not empty, not left or right bracket, or, or it's not a uh, operator, that means this thing is over. So we need to com we need to convert this number into a uh, into a, yeah convert this number string into a actual number. So for example, okay, if we see the left bracket, nothing we can do. We just continue push the the things and then reading another string. Um, if uh, let's just say if it is a uh, operator, like it's either a plus or a minus. So this is the part of the code because you just keep reading this thing. Let's say it's a one two. Let's say this thing is uh, one, two, three plus something. So at this moment, what you should do is, okay, your number is already one, two, three. So you need to convert this number into a string. So what I did is, so I pass this number to a string and then create a new, basically new, new instance of the string builder. And now is the part. If the operator right now, the operator stack is not empty and the operator when you pick it, it's not a left bracket. That means then you need to calculate the value. So this is what I mean in my previous example. So if you have one, two, three plus five, four, six. So if if right now you are four, uh, four, five, six, then you should calculate because that's fine. But if the situation is is like this, if you are right now at this one, two, three, you shouldn't really calculate because because you have a left bracket, you only want to do it when you have the right bracket. Okay. So I have a, this uh, helper function, which is the uh, calculate the value. So this is basically you keep popping up a value and then you do this, just pay attention that this order actually matters. You have to use the first one minus the second one. So this is when you see a, um, a, a plus or a negative, and then you push this. Um, well, now another tricky part is when you see a right bracket. So the way I work this is when you see a right bracket, that means your number, you need to get a number. So first of all, the same, very similar thing. So you basically uh, create a new number. Well, we can put this into a function if you like, but you know, we just get a, this real number and then we push this number into the opera, operand. We do the similar check. So if the operator stack is not now and then the left uh, and the left uh, the left is not a parenthesis. So what we need to do is we need to pop the operator and then we just basically can calculate the value. And now what we need to do is we actually need to just pop it out because in this case, the left part is always the, uh, the left, I mean, the operator left in the stack is definitely going to be the left bracket. So you're just going to pop up that thing. And then this is for the last step. We need this case is because for example, the one plus one case, so in my example, it hasn't been calculated yet because you do a one and then you do a plus and then you do this one because you haven't seen another operator. So all you need to check is, you know, you need to have this to actually have this, have this code to push the one in the stack. And also you need to check the operator. If it's not empty, then you have to calculate the value. And then the last step is whatever left in your operands, you should have just uh, uh, pop it out. Uh, it might be, uh, I think I I'm, this is a little bit uh, like uh, sounds a little bit complicated, but it is really not. So I would suggest you to do is actually download this code. All you need to do, I think, is uh, let's say we put a a breakpoint here, and then we can literally simply debug this code. Here I just leave one example. Let's say this is uh, this example two minus one plus two with a bracket. So you can start debugging the code and see and see how it goes. Okay, so now basically you can see, okay, what is the character right now is two. And then if you, I will just directly jump to this point. So two, and then you have a minus, and then you can basically look at what the stack looks like. So in this way, you can, you can kind of see how the code is actually running. So you, if you see a left bracket, there's nothing you can do. You just push it into the stack and then we just continue. And then right now the character is C is one. And then what you do, 
So it's a, it's a digit, so basically you just continue. And now, what is the current character? The current character is A. Empty, so it's empty string, so nothing you can do. So I think I can actually put a breakpoint here. So we can just directly jump to this step. And now what is the current character? Current character is a plus sign. So it is what? Okay, it is actually a plus sign. So now it means you have to actually push your number in there. So now you, you basically parse the one string as a number, you put it there. And then you will do this check. Do you need to calculate this moment? No. Why? Because you have a left bracket. You don't want to calculate. You want to basically save this one when you have a right bracket. So you just skip and then you just push the operators in there, which is a plus. And now what is your character? So your character oh, is another space. Let's skip this one. What is your current character? Current character is two. So it is a digit. You put it in there. Everything looks good. And now your character is a right bracket. Well, as long as you see a right bracket, what you need to do is, okay, we need to convert the existing number and put it into the stack. And you see the operands right now, we should actually have, boom, once we push it in, so we have another two, which is pushed, uh, the two we just pushed in. And then we check whether the uh, operators is empty or not. It is not actually empty. And then you have, you do have a plus sign. And then the previous one peak is actually so basically the, the, the one we picked is a plus sign, it's not a left one. So what we need to do is we actually need to calculate. And then at this moment, we're pretty sure because we are always one step into the further into the stack. So we just basically pop up the left bracket. And now we should actually exit this. And then the last one is, is return the results. Um, well, this method for this kind of question, it does look like a little bit of like a complicated but it is a generic way to solve the problem just by using two stacks you can you can't go wrong with two stacks another relatively simpler way posted on like voted the most on lead code is is actually quite straightforward the clever part is it uses only one stack and and also it basically pushes a sign so as long as you see a positive positive plus sign is a positive one if you see a negative it's a negative one and whenever you see a left bracket, all you need to do is push the existing result and the sign into the stack. It's like recalculating everything. And then as long, you, as long as you see a right bracket, all you need to do is basically pop up things. So first you pop up the sign, you do the calculation with the result, and then second, the existing result basically in the bracket. And then you plus whatever the existing results there and then you get the new result and then you continue the loop so the code looks like and also this part is as long as this thing is a digit you just keep moving the cursor and then you do get a number and then you convert that number into a result so so it's kind of like a, I think this part is clearer than what I did because what I did is I did not like like beforehand just always get a number it's more like oh whenever I read a non-digit sign and then I convert the previous digits into this number. This is basically proactively get all the numbers. And then the cases are like, you know, plus one, minus, minus one. And you see a le left bracket, you push the previous result, you push the previous sign, because it, it might be a case, it's, it's like, it's like a one minus one, two, three, plus four, five, six, right? So in this case, it's more like as long as as you see, because because previously you, re you recorded a negative, so you push a stack, previous result is one, you, you push a minus one because this is a minus, and you calculate these two numbers together, and then you will pop out this value times one, two, three, plus four, five, six. Actually, I just need to use a simple example, two plus three, so that is five. So that pretty much means minus five, and then you plus one, and then basically it means minus four. Okay, so this is the gist of this algorithm is relatively clear, but yeah, I mean, it's not that uh, extensible. If you have other operators and stuff, it's, uh, um, yeah, but it's, I, I think this is a good pattern. Yeah, it's, it sounds like it's also extensible in a way. If you have a uh, times and a divided, yeah, you can also use similar things. But then for the operator, like a, 
uh, priority, then you have to do some other tricks. But with this method, you can always basically change the priority because you have a operator stack instead of a number like minus one, positive one, or minus one, you store a character in this stack. So it's always easier to do that way. Uh, the time complexity and space complexity for these algorithms is both uh, ON because you have to go through if n is the length of the string because you got you have to go through the same thing uh, the whole thing and the space complexity is also on because you need extra stacks all right uh let me know if any if you have any questions regarding this problem so until then i'll see you next time